hey guys, it's Nor here and welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get YouTube thumbnails without having to be a YouTube partner. So anyway, all you want to do is make sure you open up your editing software. Now for me, I use Sony Vegas uh, 11. And you want to make sure you find a video which is around about 40 seconds long. So I find my video here and I, tr I trim it down to about 40 seconds. So this video won't really make much sense, but it's just a little test to show you guys how it's done. So anyway, all you, for this uh, video, all you need to do is make sure you have a video clip, a thumbnail, and some editing software where you can do this. So I'm trimming down this clip to about 40 seconds here. And once it's about 40 seconds, you want to make sure you import your thumbnail, which is about the same length as the video. So this video can be anything. It can be a, a sports video. It can be a real life video. It could be anything you want. But as long as you have the thumbnail, then you'll be able to have a YouTube thumbnail. So... Anyway, from here, I'm just going to go through the video, and I'm going to show you that there's no thumbnails hidden in the video, so this is all real, and this is 100% not fake. So now coming up to the end of the video, I'm going to make sure I go into my folders and look for this thumbnail. But you want to make sure it could be a thumbnail that stands out because the whole point of a thumbnail is getting your video noticed. So I'm going to click on this thumbnail here and it shows Epic Meal Time. It's an old thumbnail which my friend made for me but didn't get onto my main channel, 0 0.4 Live. So you want to make sure your thumbnail is at least the same length or even bigger than your video. But just for time's sake, I'm going to make sure it's the same length. But of course, it will be a bit bigger anyway, otherwise it won't work fully. So anyway, I'm going to make sure it's the rough average of about the same length video. Uh, so I'm going to render this up and I'm going to catch you back when it's rendered because this does take about 5 minutes. So this glitch isn't really a uh, patient one. You've got to be you got to be a little bit patient for this glitch. It's going to take a while. It'll take about a day, uh, predictably. It took me about 15 hours. So please, like, please take your time with this because YouTube needs to update quite a bit when you do it. So anyway, it's rendering now, and I cut it to when it's rendered, just for time's sake, because there is no point watching a screen for five minutes with a little green bar going upwards. So I'm not going to show you the video again, I'm just going to show you what's been rendered, and I'm going to keep cutting it until you get to the video. So now the thumbnail is right at the end of the video, and it's just the thumbnail there, but don't worry, when you upload this video to YouTube, you will not have the thumbnail just stuck there at the end of the video. So what you're going to do, you're going to sign into your un unpartnered account or just go onto your normal account, whichever one works for you. So I'm going to switch from 0.4 Live and I'm going to go onto Dupe Central. Now Dupe Central is an account of mine that I've had for a while and I'm meaning to upload videos to it and I'm trying to get it back up and running again. But I won't be getting it up running for a few days now. So anyway, I'm on Dupe Central and as you can see it's not partnered but it's got quite a few videos on there. So it is a channel we do work on. So I'm going to go to my channel settings and I'm going to show you that there is no banners, image maps or anything. So it's a completely unpartnered account. And I'm going to go to upload and drag that rendered video into the upload bit. Now I'm going to call this video 0.4 live test clip or something. It's going to be a really simple name but of course when you do it you'll, you'll just designate the name to anything you want. So anyway, once you've uploaded the video you want to go to enhancements on YouTube. And then once you're there just wait for me to get there. So now the video is uploaded. I'm going to... I'm going to click on the link and then I want to see what thumbnails we have. So as you can see, there's two thumbnails and they're both from the thumbnails we added into the video and one of them is from the video itself. So I'm going to click on the middle thumbnail just to be safe and I'm going to save the video. And now straight away, if you go onto my channel, you will see that thumbnail is there. But of course, there still is a 50 second uh, gap at the end of the video. So I'm going to make sure we get rid of that in YouTube enhancements. So now as you can see, I go into my videos and the thumbnail is there. But of course, we do not want that bit at the end. So I'm going to go into my settings, I'm going to go into video manager, and then I'm going to crop the video and go into enhancements. Once I'm in enhancements, you want to make sure you click on trim, and then trim the thumbnail all the way down until it's in its last split second of the video. So this may take a bit of working and a bit of make do, but eventually it will work.
So now as you can see, I've trimmed it back up to the last split second, which enables the viewer to think that it's a real thumbnail, because at the end of the video, when it pauses like that, it looks like a real thumbnail, because thumbnails only come up when it pauses at the end of it. So anyway, I'm going to save that, and I'm going to wait about a day so I sleep on it, and then when I wake up in the morning, it'll be all done, refreshed, and created. So this may take a bit of time and may do, but of course, when you're patient and you work on this and you want it, then it'll work out for you. So anyway, I'm going to skip it to when I wake up, and I'm going to look at it now, and it's been on for about 16 hours. So anyway, as you can see, there is already a thumbnail on there, but the video is 40 seconds long, so there is no thumbnail or clips at the end of it, so this glitch has worked. And of course, if you're not partnered, then this will be a very, very good glitch for you to do on YouTube because people will think you're a YouTube partner and it will get your videos more noticed on the web. So anyway, I'm just going to click play through this video to show that there is no thumbnail in the middle of it or at the start of it. And it's all legit because there is no thumbnail at the end of it. Okay, so as you can see, the thumbnail just pops up at the end, but that's only for a split second, and the video does pause when that happens. So anyway, I'm going to go into Video Manager. Do not fiddle around with any of the thumbnails in Video Manager, because YouTube does not pick up the thumbnails originally. So you want to make sure you just keep that thumbnail and leave it in Video Manager. So once you've done this, guys, you're pretty much sorted. You have the thumbnail there, and you're not meant to have a thumbnail. So you basically got YouTube thumbnails without having to be a YouTube partner. Any questions about this glitch, please comment in the comment section below. This is take quite a while. But until then, guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and check out Troop Central, that channel, which will be on the link uh, on the screen right now to see video proof. So until then, guys, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.